Hi, welcome to my channel. I purchased this wig from hairspells.com and it came in this bag. And this wig is the deep wavy number four lace front wig. And this is the 22 inch. It also came with lashes and I'm also wearing those lashes that it came with right now. Um, and it also came with this. It tells you how to uh, maintain their wigs. It has like their Twitter, Snapchat codes, whatever on here it's also affordable this wig was 22 inches and it was 160 and it ended up being 180 for 20 dollars shipping and it came in it came in three days which was really good so i'm here to show y'all how i install my lace front wig so let's get started step one i will be using ampro pro style gel to clean up any baby hairs or flyaways that i may have on my forehead then i'll use a brush you can use a brush or a comb anything to your liking i just used a brush because it was the closest thing to me then i will put my blow dryer on a cool setting do not put it on hot put it on a cool setting and this will help your gel dry faster Step two, I'm using rubbing alcohol on my forehead to wipe off any extra grease, oil, or any type of gel on my forehead. If you have anything like that on your forehead, it will cause your lace to lift and it will not lag. I prefer to use a rag instead of a tissue or like a cotton swab because it does leave behind some of the cotton. Step three, I will be positioning my frontal on my forehead, making sure that it's ear to ear and everything is even. One side is not longer than the other and one side is not shorter. Then after that, I will be applying Gorilla Snot on my forehead in layers. You can buy this at any, at any beauty supply, Walmart, Target, Walgreens. You can get it from Sally's, anywhere. I applied it with the pencil on the first layer. I don't know why. It was just the first thing that I had grabbed. Then after that, I will thin out that layer of glue and I will use my blow dryer on a cool setting. Then I'll add my second layer and do the same thing. My third layer and do the same thing.
When applying your lace, do not push down too hard or else your glue will seep through from your forehead and it will stick to the hair onto the frontal. In this clip, I'm using an eyebrow razor that I got from the beauty supply. I think it might have been a dollar. It might have been a dollar, like 99 cents. But you can get it from any beauty supply. You can get it at Sally's as well. I will be razoring the baby hairs. I sectioned my baby hairs off when I parted my hair. I will be razoring my baby hairs to my liking. You don't have to razor it how I did, but you can razor it wherever. You can have long baby hairs or small ones. Even though my lace is melted and the glue is dry and everything is put down right and it is in the right place, I added Pump It Up Spray Extra Hold on my, on my hairline just to be sure. And this step is optional. I just like to do this just to be safe. Now I'm using White Rain Mousse and I will be applying it to my baby hairs that I cut. And if you're using this and your lace starts to lift up, that's because you had either grease on your forehead that you didn't wipe off or you didn't lay your lace down or it wasn't done drying yet. I prefer to use mousse instead of a gel or pump it up or any type of anything else that people use to lay down their baby hairs because it makes my baby hairs appear hard and they end up getting like flaky as the days go by. I use mousse because when I take my headscarf off afterwards, it is soft and it just looks more natural like that. I got this brush from the dollar store. It was a dollar. Um, it has a comb on the end and on the other side of it, it has a brush. I prefer to use this doing my baby hairs because it has a, a comb. I prefer this over a toothbrush, but if I don't have it, I use a toothbrush or a small comb.
Once you've achieved the baby hairs and you've got your baby hairs to your liking, after you're done, you want to apply a headscarf or a bandana or a wrap or anything to lay your baby hairs down. And these are the final results. Please comment, like, and subscribe. I also went on camera and I ended up detangling my hair. I didn't get that on camera. But if you like to see how I detangle my curly wig or any other wig, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.